stuff, which we ran out of. This is actually the last piece in making the bathroom vanity. And we're making a couple of cabinets, and they'll be fashioned the same way. So we need to chop up a piece of birch, which I found in stock, hanging up in the rafters into smaller pieces. Uh, this piece I've already planed at some point in time, so that saves us one step. But what I'll have to do is the edges are way off. I'm going to run it over top of the joiner right here, and then we'll cut it, rip it down the center, and finally come through the bandsaw. And we should wind up with four lengths of the size we want uh, of this perch we can use for face frames. So let's get started. Safety glasses. reasonably straight edge on the board now I can run it through the table saw it's not perfect but it's good enough to run through the table saw it had a nasty little dog leg in the middle of the board which would have caused us a big problem going through the table saw again not perfect but it'll do what we need it to do so over at the table saw let me uh, set the fence we want to cut it in the middle, the board's four and a quarter inches. I'll set the fence at two and an eighth. And that should go right down the middle of it. And let's see our sliding fence looks like it'll be in the way. It'll move it. Just pop it off out of the way. And we're ready to go. Well, nice ready to go. The joiner's just a little bit in the way. That could be a problem. Take two.
That's where the LP table comes in handy, which we don't have. So, they're getting smaller. Now we have to just resaw these on the bandsaw, and we'll have roughly what we want. They'll need to be cleaned up a little bit, but we can work with them after that. So, somewhere along the line, I guess in moving the shop 3,000 miles, the fence for the bandsaw disappeared. So eventually I'll have to get another one. However, this has been working out nicely, temporarily. Just put a big piece of maple in there and clamp it down. And of course we need to adjust a little bit. Okay, that looks good. We tighten the clamps down so that our makeshift fence doesn't move. Alright. Dust collector on. Now we have our four pieces of birch that are roughly the size that we want. Now that we've resawed it, the surfaces are very rough from the saw blade, so it would be appropriate to run through the planer to clear that up, plus get them a little bit thinner. So we'll do that next. Get some other tools out of my way. Position the planer. I just ran across uh, a bandsaw blade 
I think the name of it was Wood King. A company called Highland Hardware handles it. And supposedly, the blade is so good that it barely needs sanding. So, and they're about 30 bucks, so we might try one of those at some point in the future. This is where having everything on wheels is nice. these through and clean them up in size. Dust collector. This thing throws out some chips. I recently got a little adapter for the hose and it makes hooking up to the machines much easier. of the material you're working with, which is something we're interested in doing. I want to make it roughly the same thickness as what we've been using. And actually, these are wound up a little bit thinner, so after I clean these up, I'm going to uh, make them the same thickness. Right now, they're 3 eighths of an inch. The pieces we made for the other are just a hair more than three-eighths of an inch. So these pieces will be probably just a hair thinner since I've run the thin ones through at least once to clean them up. So I'm not really looking for anything. The machine will make the uh, flat and the side that's cutting parallel and clean up the edge. It'll be sand ready at that point. If I had new blades in here, uh, it may not even need sanding on some woods. However, for our purposes, we want to sand anyway. We want to get a nice high gloss finish. So we're going uh, down to 400 on our final sanding, which winds up very, very smooth. Let's finish planing. We'll have a few more passes here.
Okay, so we have our face frame boards all planed up nice and pretty. We have good sides to work with. Pardon me. I will need to run them through the table saw again for a better final dimension. We we're just kind of guessing at the metal. So uh, I'll have to do that operation too. So that'll be our last operation, running it through the table saw one more time for a final finish. table saw or the planer in because I only had one outlet. They're both 220. And yesterday I added a second one with the idea that I'll move the dust collector over there.
Are you squaring up both sides right now? What I'm trying to do right now is make up for the shortcomings of the joiner. It's a small joiner and for longer boards it's not very useful. Uh, so I can make up the difference on the table saw by taking the smaller bites and making the edges straight in that fashion. And I'm almost there. I've got maybe two or three passes to go and then we'll have nice straight edges. Uh, one or two of them are kind of wedge shaped at the end. So I'm trying to work it down to that. Good, that's where I want them. The edges are all parallel on all opposing sides. They're the same thickness. We have at least one good surface to make ordinary birch extraordinary. So these are now ready to get worked into our cabinetry. So The initial planing we didn't have to do, normally on rough cut lumber, where they've got very rough bandsaw marks from the lumber mill, they need to be planed off. Again, at some point, I'd already done that. We need to join, run it through the joiner to get one straight edge. It wasn't perfect, close enough to cut it down the center so we could proceed. So after that, we went to the bandsaw, resawed it, making it much thinner. Then ran it through the planer again because the bandsaw gives a terrible rough edge. It needs to be cleaned up. And then I straighten the edges back up on the table saw. So, effectively, we just milled some 3 8 by 1 and 3 quarter boards. Marky Mark, extraordinaire, air, 